What's a Play presents the top 10 Android MMORPGs arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. We're starting at 10th place with Dawn of Isles. Our first game may be unlike the MMORPGs we're used to, and that's kind of what makes it special in the first place. Unlike the usual bunch of dark, gothic, or medieval settings for role-playing games, Dawn of Isles offers something uniquely bright and charming. With its captivating island setting, you get to live your tropical adventure dreams by surviving through the work of your own hands. Collect wood for crafting, plant your own produce, go fishing, and so much more. And if that sounds too boring, Dawn of Isles never fails to balance it out with elemental battles with the varying monsters on the isle. While there's been a lot of love for the game, it looks like there's some talk about a new update that introduces some pay-to-win aspects to the game. A price to pay to live a dual life, maybe? It has a play score of a 7.84. At number 9 is World of Kings. And now we're back to some traditional MMORPGs. But just because it follows the format of most games doesn't mean it's not spectacular. A game from Chinese studio Zilong. World of Kings is thought to boast some spectacular graphics. Its 3D visuals is a little reminiscent of World of Warcraft, which is pretty impressive considering it's on the mobile. World of Kings welcomes us into a world of magic. Come along with up to 25 friends and raid their 10 epic dungeons for the best loot in the land. The game has recently added a Nightborn race into the mix, rounding it up to five different races, each with their independent stories. The grinding set in place to receive that delicious free legendary weapon is tough though, and it's made even tougher in a game overloaded with bots. But the journey towards higher levels is fun with friends, getting a play score of a 7.97. At number 8 is Mobile Royale MMORPG Build a Strategy for Battle. To be an MMORPG is one thing, but to mix it up with a mind work of strategy is another. That's exactly what this game from IGG.com does. Telling the story of an ongoing medieval war, Mobile Royale gets you into a deep dive of lords fighting over supremacy all over the kingdoms. The only way to do it is to engage in battle using all the best in strategy, tactics, and a bit of brute force. Its RPG elements might be a little slim, although it does have a roster of heroes to summon, upgrade, and customize. For players that have already enjoyed the likes of Lords Mobile, this isn't all that different, offering a layer of strategy to a fun MMO. As such, it also has most of the same microtransactions, spread about in resources for the building, as well as the usual in-game currency. It has a play score of an 8.1. 7th place goes to MU Origin 2 WebZen Officially Authorized. MMORPGs were big way back, and some names are looking to make their comeback on the mobile stage. One of them is MU. Once a haven for players wanting MMORPG action and isometric medieval fantasy style, WebZen has given the go signal to bringing that all to the Android. MU Origin 2 stays true to their original mission, letting players run amok in their world full of magic. It reconstructs the universe using modern visuals and allows players to take on the role of swordsman, mage, and archer. Customize your characters, equip them with the powerful items, and participate in the excitement of PvP and GVG. As an MMORPG with a free-to-play model, you'll have to, as usual, watch out for the pay-to-win mechanics that regularly haunt it. There isn't a lot of complaints about it though, compared to those lobbied against the day-to-day -day bugs and crashes. Still, it gets a score of an 8.1. At number 6 is Star Trek Fleet Command. From medieval fantasy, we come to science fiction. And who better to spend a science fiction adventure with than one of the best known names in the genre? A lot of games have explored the Star Trek universe, but Star Trek Fleet Command expands on the missions of the Enterprise by adding star system domination to the list. 
Fleet Command gathers round the captains and icons of the entire franchise so that you yourself can recruit them into your journey of cosmic proportions. Enter the battle as Federation, Klingon, or Romulans and take siege of Alpha and Beta Quadrants using the iconic ships and your own managerial skills. There's also plenty of missions to accomplish when destruction isn't always your cup of tea. A little Ferengi-like in their transactions, Star Trek Fleet Commander may test your patience with a whole load of waiting if you don't feel like shelling out your cash. It has a play score of an 8.14. We're down to our fifth on our list and it is Summoner's War. From the makers of the Inosha series, Come to Us made their dive into MMORPGs in 2014 and it's still thriving to this day. Step up to the challenge of the Summoner's War as you assemble the greatest team of monsters to battle for you in the Sky Arena. It chooses to present their battles in cute chibi, but it doesn't take anything away from the intensity of the fights. In fact, the game's graphics is one of the things that critics praised about the game. Granted, it's been a while since its debut, so maybe opinions on that have changed. Looking at the gamers themselves, some of them aren't all that satisfied with its drop rates on runes and monsters. But its strategic elements and beautiful character designs are what keeps players coming back for more. It has a play score of an 8.16. Fourth place goes to Era of Legends, fantasy MMORPG on your mobile. The Era of Legends has begun. It all sounds epic enough, evoking images of grand magical face-offs and harrowing boss raids. Maybe that's also true. What makes Era of Legends stand out is the fact that it's an autoplay MMORPG, and for some, it's one of the best of its kind. Released just March of this year, it aimed to join together mobile gaming with traditional MMORPG gameplay. From the looks of things, it's delivering on all its promises. Not only does it have a vast world to explore, a number of classes to choose from, and a promising PvP arena, its autoplay also makes it discover all of these things that much easier. If that's not your cup of tea though, you can always opt out. Sure, the voice acting isn't all that great. Scatter now. And then comes the mildly annoying microtransactions. But for all it offers, it's well-deserving of its 8.18 play score. Third on our list is Dark Legends. One level darker than the usual vibrant MMORPGs, Dark Legends lets you step inside the dark and gritty world of vampires and aid them for their quest for survival. In this world, vampires are hunted down by a horde of human supremacists, and you must defend your tribes against them or face the perils of extinction. It's just as contrived as any other kind of vampire story, but for most people, it just works. A lot of gamers enjoy the game's story, atmosphere, and especially its arcade shooter era graphics. There's still room for improvements though, as free-to-play MMO, there's a few complaints leveled at their PvP arena, as well as their loot system that feels a little stingy on actual rewards. Despite everything, Dark Legends remains one of the best places for a vampire-themed RPG, and it gets a play score of an 8.43. Second on our list is Arcane Legends MMO Action RPG. From the same people who brought Dark Legends, Spacetime Studios continues the legends, but this time in the comfort of the light of day. What they lack in title creativity, they make up for with polished execution and impressive content. In Arcane Legends, you'll discover the massive online world of Arlor, a world steeped in the usual romp medieval magic roleplaying. Pick from three different classes and roam the lands as warriors, rogues, and sorcerers. There's still the microtransactions you'd expect from every MMO, and it comes in the form of paid subscriptions, as well as cosmetics and pets that you can't easily earn from the loot system. If the grind isn't you mind, Arcane Legends is a more than decent RPG for the mobile, and it has a play score of an 8.53. And the best Android MMORPG is Old School RuneScape. Everybody's probably heard of RuneScape. It's one of those games some of us just poured hours of our childhood into. While it's undergone a whole number of changes throughout the years, Jagex presents us with a way to remember and relive all the misadventures that we've all had. 
Now on the mobile, old school RuneScape is exactly how you remember. It was one of the first to bring us the simple delights of MMORPGs and continues to do so now with the added fun of cross-platform play. Old School RuneScape remains a free-to-play game and you can have access to almost everything you need. But with the paid subscription, you can open yourself up to new skills, quests, and so much more. Face dragons, sail seas, and take down monsters all in the comforting pixels of the past. It has a play score of an 8.62.